Hi, this is Wilson. Today I'm going to show you how to connect this powerful MIDI controller into computer and use it to control Amplitude 5, which is really a top level software effect. The sound quality and picking dynamic are just awesome. Now let's begin. Before I'll connect to MIDI controller, make sure you have already prepared a computer with Amplitude 5 installed and an audio interface with ASIO driver. It is a little pity that I have developed many audio interfaces before, but so far in my new company, Pent Audio, though we already have MIDI controllers, pedals, microphones, but still no audio interface. This should be changed. I can't wait. Okay, let's go back to the connection. There are three ways to connect the MIDI captain to computer. The first one uses the USB cable, no driver needed. Then select the MIDI input device as the MIDI captain in Amplitude 5. The second way use MIDI cable connect to audio interface MIDI input and just select the audio interface MIDI in in Amplitude 5. For this method, your audio interface should have the MIDI input. The third one, which is also my favorite, Use the MIDI Mate wireless dongle together with MIDI Captain. This is almost zero latency for the wireless transmission, and then the MIDI Mate will transfer the data into computer with its own USB MIDI function. In this method, you will get the most benefit of using software effects because you can just have the only MIDI Captain under your foot and put the computer and the audio interface somewhere a safe place in the stage nearby. Years ago, I have developed a very unique audio interface plus with MIDI controller, the TS Mega. It looks cool and that you can put the processor pad on the device slot, make those pieces together as a whole. However, I got many feedback that guitarists always afraid of that the pad being kicked off by the foot and causing unstable or device safe problem. Now use the wireless controller and the separated placement. Problem solved. Now let's get to the MIDI control setup for Amplitude 5. Basically, it is a combination of PC programmed control and CC continuous control. We can select the second preset in MIDI Captain. It gives four keys for CC control and four keys for PC control, as well as the up and down program browser there is no setup needed in Amplitude 5 for PC control. It is working by default. The only thing you need to do is to arrange your tone presets mapping into the PC list. Here is the default PC list. We need to understand that the PC list is not the all presets list here. To change the PC list mapping, we need to go into the setup window and the control page here. We can select the needed presets one by one into the PC list. The PC list is ranged from 0 to 127, which may be displayed as 1 to 128. That is all about PC control. Now let's get to the CC control. CC control can do much more and control all the parameters. We can think that the CC control has two numbers. The first one is the CC ID number. This number can be mapped to what to be controlled. The second number is the real control date or C, the CC value. Both the two numbers are also ranged from 0 to 127. The most important thing of CC setup is how to map the CC number between the controller and the item to be controlled. There are two ways. The first one is by learning. Let me take this pedal on off control as an example. We can do the right click, assignment, learning, and waiting for. Then we can hit the CC button to be assigned. Now we can find that the CC control of the pedal on off is already matched successfully. Here we need some understand about that different software may have different ways to use the CC message received. Some software will take the CC value, the second number between 0 to 63 as off state and 64 to 127 as on state, while some software don't. 
it just does the on-off state change whenever the mapped CC message received and ignore the CC value. There is some special setup needed for Amplitude 5 about CC on-off control learning. Because after learned, you will find that the CC value 0 means on and 127 means off because the Amplitude says it learned the bypass state. This may cause some trouble that the LED light on actually means the pedal is off. Don't worry, we can solve this by set this minimal and the maximum value. The idea is reverse the minimal and the maximum setting. We can set minimal between 50 and 100 and the maximum between 0 to 50. The problem will be solved. And now we can see the light state and the pedal on off state are matched correctly. Also for CC control like its name, the continuous control, it can take the continuous parameters change according to the CC value received. Let me show you another example. Now we take out the expression pedal. This one is also our product, a very unique one a dual channel polarity changeable EXP pedal. Here we just use it as a normal EXP pedal. As the MIDI captain has two expression pedals in, and it can read the pedal positions and convert it into CC control value. In each preset of MIDI captain, we can assign different CC ID numbers to the two channels. Now we can learn the expression pedal control just the same as the previous on-off state control. One great benefit of using software effects is that there are much more things can be assigned by CC control than most of the hardware multi effects. See, we can control WAM, WAMI, any pedal knobs, tuner, tap, next, previous, start, stop, record, and many others. At last, let me show how to set MIDI CC control without learning. There's actually a tip that you may never found. Let's get to this setup window. Here we can see the CC mapping list. We can add new or just modify. The tip here is how we can change this number. I have to say I cried and tried so many ways and times. Finally, I got it. With the mouse, left click on the number, then drag up and down. We can make that change successfully. Now the only thing left is to set the CC number at both sides, the software side and the MIDI captain side. I will recommend the MIDI captain's new mode, the MIDI kick mode. You can set all the key functions just at the device itself. For more information, you can download the new firmware 2.0 on pentaudio.com and read the readme file inside the package for how to use the gig mode. This is all about how to set MIDI controller to the software effects. So this was done on Amplitude 5, actually, now you know all others. It is almost similar for any music software. Not only we can use it with effects apps, we can also use the MIDI controller for music recording software such as Logic Pro X, Cubase, and etc. Have a good day. Hope this video can help you find the entrance to a new world that all about the music software and the MIDI controller stuff. Thank you for watching. This is Wilson from Pant Audio.